Get a doctor. Wait a minute, Papa. What happened? Who did this? There's a, there's a, 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 a white thunderbird, a tea bird. Oh God, I don't feel so good. You better get the doctor. Pop, who did this? What? Papa. Oh God. Oh God. God. Frank, what is it? What happened? I was driving in my car. And I heard that bell and it got louder and louder. He was just laying here. He was laying on the ground. Come on now, Frank. I'll be in my office. Right. Something about a, a, a thunderbird, huh? a white thunderbird. I don't know. A white thunderbird. There's one outfit, the Hendrix bunch. Hendrix drives a T-bird, a white one. Well, don't just sit there. Do something. All right, slow down, Frank. This is a bunch of graduate juvenile delinquents. They're real rough. Not just kids. Brought up in the South Park area and still operate there. You know who this Hendrix is? Go get him. Frank, your father was a cop long enough. You know better than that. You don't just go get him. There's got to be evidence first. We don't have it. You got a mugshot on this, Hendrix. Yeah, we got a shot. But no evidence. I just want to see what he looks like. All right. I'll get it for you.
What'd you do that for? You had to kill him. I told you to get him out of the way and keep him quiet, and you felt you had to kill him. Make a stop, Alex. So let her cut it out. You go into the other room. I'll be in in a few moments and we'll talk about it. What are you doing here? I thought I told you to wait downstairs. The guys are getting tired of waiting, so they sent me up to see what was happening. They're worried about the loot. You know what I mean? Boy, you go downstairs and tell them I said wait a little longer. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. I didn't mean to bug you, Alice. Alex, you shouldn't let her laugh at me like that. It, it's not right. Why isn't it right? Because it makes me look bad. It's just not right, that's all. I've done a lot of things for you, Alex, a lot. Raymond, do you think you can learn to control yourself? Just do the things I tell you to do. Yeah, sure, Alex. I won't do anything like that again. Until you tell me. Yeah? Why? Oh, he won loot on you, man. 
He was betting on you all the way. I lost bread myself. I was betting on boy here. Looks like you bet on the wrong boy. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I'd like to buy you a drink. You earned it, friend. Well, you won a lot of money for me. I was betting on you to win. Yeah, we really cleaned up. Three hundred bucks. Well, these are my friends. This is uh, Raymond Gunderson and Barney Adams. And oh, yes, Miss uh, Marla Stanowski. It's Stanley. Marla Stanley. Alex, you promised. Yes, uh, Miss Marla Stanley. Miss Stanley? Hi. What do you drink, uh... Frank? What do you drink, Frank? Bourbon and water. Fine, fine, Barney. Take care of our water. Huh? Sure, Alex. Oh! Really, Mr. Adams? Barney, you know Alex don't like that. Fred, why don't you try and control yourself in front of our guests? I'm sorry, Alex. Yes, why don't you try and control yourself in front of our guests? Marla. Oh, yes, you've met Boy. Boy? Boy who? Yeah, just boy, like, uh, like in Frank. Sit down, boy. Uh, what do you do, Frank? A little bit of everything since I got out of the army. Construction work, stuff like that. Find it a little difficult settling down? Yeah. Something like that. Now, how do you fix for cash, Frank? I survive. <laughs> survive? What is survival, Frank? Anything like this? Go on, take it. You earned it? Fifty bucks, huh? Just like that? Yeah. Just like that. You got anybody else you want me to fight? Yeah, what's your full name? Why? I'd like to know the people I do business with. If I'm going to do business with you, what's your last name? Miner. Frank Miner. All right, Mr. Miner. Let's get down to business. You have a police record. Not that I know of. Good. We have a foolproof setup here. The way we work, there's not a chance of anyone getting caught. And if you are interested... I'm interested... We meet at 7th and Central, the northeast corner at 9. I'll be there. Oh, yes, Mr. Miner. As a member of my organization, you have the privilege of legal protection. Call this number in case of any difficulties. I think we'll have a very profitable relationship. Maybe. What are you going to do? What do you mean? About what? About us. I'm beginning to feel like an old army buddy. Oh, come on, honey. You know what's been happening. Well, that's just it. I know a little of what's happening, but I've got a feeling there's a whole lot I don't know anything about. Whatever it is, it's very important. Look, Kate. It's probably better you don't know. Do you really think it's better? I worry anyhow. Well, look, does it have anything to do with Pop's death? Yes, it does, but... Well, hurting someone else and getting yourself in trouble isn't going to do anything to help Pop now. Well, look, I am involved with the Hendricks gang. It, it's just that I can't tell you about it now. All right. All right, meet me in my place in a couple of hours. I've got to go someplace right now. You promise. No more secrets. I promise no more secrets. So go on, meet me in a couple of hours. Frank? I'm not an old army buddy.
Now go on. But I'll be waiting for you. All right. Have you made all the arrangements? Sure, Alex. You've called our esteemed lawyer, Mr. Crowley? Yeah, sure. And you've briefed both Boy and Barney? That's what you told me to do. That's right, Raymond. That's exactly what I told you to do. Is it done? Yeah, sure, Alex. That's the new guy. Good evening, Mr. Miner. I suppose we're all here now? Is this all of us? Boy will be back in a moment. As for the rest, we won't need him on this job. Oh, you weren't kidding when you said it was a small job. Hey, you haven't had enough. There'll be enough, boy. You and Mr. Miner will be working together from now on. Yeah, well, can I trust this guy to do what he's supposed to do? You can trust him, Mr. Miner. The boy will do exactly what he's supposed to do. The boys will brief you on the way. You'd better get started. Come on, let's go. Leave that guy. We'll see. First, we've got to make a phone call. Oh, yeah, man, like we figured you might open it up special just for us. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, sure. Look, now you just turn around and you and my friend here will go into the office. You open up the register, get my boy the bread, and we'll cut out. Everything will be just fine. Sure, anything you say. behind your head. All right, let's go. It's your move. Alex, shouldn't the guys be back by now? Patient Raymond, patience. They'll be back soon enough. It's your move, Alex. Raymond, the door, the door. Alex, 
everything is straight. It went just like you said. The fuzz ought to have your boy at the crossbar hotel by now. Any slip-ups? No, ma'am. We cut out just as the cops got there. They didn't spot us. And uh, Mr. Miner, did he act uh, satisfactorily? Oh, very cool, man. Did it like a pro. Good. He wasn't even shook up. Good. Alex. Nate. <laughs> and get the cards. Okay, in here. Frank, what's all this? You know him? Yeah. What happened? We just caught him in the middle of an armed robbery. It was that man's service station. You better come along with me. Sergeant, did you get a call on this? Yes, sir. Five cards, nothing wild. Any two. I can't open. Raymond, are you playing in the game? Oh, yeah, yeah. sure, Alex. I was thinking of something else. That was obvious. I'll open for five. I call. Alex, it's getting kind of late. Don't worry. The police will be done with our friends soon enough. I knew from the mugshot you showed me that it was Hendricks. And he laid this thing out for me. I didn't know what the gimmick was, so I played along. Looks like I really played the sucker this time. No, Frank. This is the way Hendricks works. I've had all of his bunch in here one time or another. You see, Frank, we're obligated to give any lawyer representing you your record to prepare his defense. Well, this Hendricks is no dummy. That's why we haven't been able to tag him up to now. Frank, I think you can help us. What do you mean? Look, you're in a position to do a great deal. The only way we can prove anything on this bunch is from the inside. That's just where you put yourself. You want to use me as a spy? That's it. I want to find out who killed my father, and when I do, he's going to get it from me. Personally. You sure don't talk like the son of a cop. He's going to get it the way Pop got it. Right? How would you like to go to jail for ten years for armed robbery? What? All I have to do is let this report go through and I can fix it so that lawyer can't get you out. Well, that sounds to me like blackmail. You play rough, don't you? Well, what do you say? What can I say? I know what time it is, Mr. Crawley. I thought as my attorney you might show a little more interest when I called. If you say that Mr. Miner hasn't called yet, then he hasn't. I'd, I'd appreciate a little more respectful tone when I call in the future. Goodbye, Mr. Crawley. I'll be waiting for your call. So all I have to do is go on like I am now. Only get reports to you before each job, if possible. Right. And when I find out who killed my father, I turn him over to you. That's it. That's the part I don't like. That's the part you're going to have to put up with. Now, the department will take care of a phony record under the name of Frank Miner. All right, Frank Miner, with identification. So all that's left for you to do is to make a phone call. Have you got the card? Yeah, yeah, right here. Good. Use the phone booth up front. Well, he's our tardy friend. Yes, Hardy. What are you trying to pull? 
Sandra, you sound disturbed, friend. Oh, come on, but I just Take it easy. Listen, punk. I sat down, boy. All right, come on, what's happening? If you'll relax for a moment, I'll be good enough to explain it to you. Raymond, put that away and step back. Sit down, Mr. Miner. You were right. It was a put-up job. It was a necessary one, though. It's the only way we have of checking up on your record. My lawyer will see to it that this little incident won't present any problems. It's a pretty good way of guaranteeing loyalties, Frank. You really got this thing figured out, haven't you? Yes. Now, let's get down to business. I wish you hadn't been so crazy in the first place. But at least this way it's a little better. Yeah, with Pearl behind me, I feel a little bit better about it myself. Just what are you supposed to do? Will Captain Pearl be able to help you in any way? No, no, honey. I'm just supposed to keep my eye on the gang and report to Prowl if possible. You know, that's got me kind of worried. I mean, if they got a job already planned, they don't let me know till I get there. How am I supposed to get word to Prowl? Well, what's the matter with calling me? Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll just call you up from Alex's and tell you where we're going and when we'll be there, huh? Very smart. No, well, what's wrong with the code of some kind? You got any idea? might be able to figure something. I feel just like a movie spy. Yeah. You know, wait till they stand me up against the wall and they start shooting things at me. Say things like that. I'm sorry, honey. Hey, come on. We got to get going. I got to get out of here. You're early. It's better than being late. It's better being on time. Should I have him wait downstairs? No. Sit down, Mr. Miner. We going on a job tonight? Yeah, sure. Oh, great. You had a previous appointment? Yeah. I had a date with my girl. She'll have to wait. Good evening, gentlemen. I believe you know everybody here. Gentlemen, if you'll gather around, I'll assign times and positions. Now, Raymond will be the first one in. After he's in the back door, Barney will You should have no trouble in making a clean exit. Are there any problems? Yeah, I got a problem. My girl's going to be waiting for me all night. Mr. Miner. We can't let your social life interfere. Well, yeah, but if I can just make a... Mr. Miner. We'll just have to chance that. It's uh, one of the hazards of the business. Now, Raymond will see to it that everyone has their working clothes. We'll all dress in the trunk. I have 1210. Let's be on our way. Hello? Hello, Ed. Is Frank there? Who's calling? This is Captain Prell. Kay, has Frank called yet? No, he hasn't. I was just getting ready to call you. He hasn't called me either. Maybe he just wasn't able to get to a phone. Well, he should have called by this time. He might be trying to call right now. I'll be calling you back, Kay. Goodbye.
Gentlemen, our little ritual to another successful job, to us. Alex. Go ahead, we'll all see. Hey, what's coming up? Easy, man. We ought to call you the light-fingered boy. It's only one stinking piece of... I'm really very disappointed in you. I thought we'd all treated you fair. We've all shared in the profits. But evidently, you haven't been satisfied with your share. What are we going to do with the light-fingered boy here? Well, there's one thing we can do. Barney! Harry, Chica! Alex, you're kidding! Ray. Fellas, don't! Fellas, don't! Ah, ah. Take him to the hospital. He's had an unfortunate accident in his home workshop. Are you all right? Yeah, sure, I'm fine. No bruises. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I was so worried. Oh, uh, Captain Pro called you. Mm, I better call him back. Get me a cup of coffee, will you? speaking. Uh, Captain, this is Frank Simmons. Uh, Frank, what happened, boy? I expected to hear from you long before this. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. I just got hung up on this job and couldn't get to a telephone. There was a job tonight? Yeah. Well, give me the information. Uh, 3726 Harris Road, North Lake. The Winthrop House? Yeah, that's it. Well, that must have been quite a haul. Just a minute, Frank. Yes, Captain. Dispatch a full detail to 3726 Harris Road in North Lake. It's robbery. I want impressions inside and out. Print the works. Got that? Yes, sir. to be as bad as Barney. All right, all right. Well, Martha, how did you like your breakfast this morning? It's okay, Alex. Everything all right? Sure, Alex. Why don't you go then back to your bedroom and finish your book? Raymond, what is all this about Frank? Do you have anything other than feeling to base your suspicions on? Well, I told you, Alex, I went back to the Winthrop place. I saw the cops pull in. And the lights weren't on, so they couldn't have come to yet. Well, why didn't you say anything about this before? Well, about which part? About the lights. There's more of that than just fear. I tried to, Alex, but you wouldn't listen. You never do. I think this time you might have something to say. I don't think we'll go on this job tonight. What are you going to do? Raymond, how would you like to take our friend on a little trip? Just in case the police do show up. Yeah, yeah, sure, Alex. Well, speaking of the devil... What? 
Are your ears burning, Mr. Miner? What do you mean? Raymond has been saying some awfully nice things about you. Look, Alex. Isn't that I... right, Raymond? Yeah, Alex. Alex! Yes? He's still got his thought on it. Do you want to send it back to the cleaners? I'd like to wear it. Then why don't you just wear it and shut up? Raymond, take Marla into the kitchen and bring us two coffees. Frank, I brought you down here this morning to tell you about our next job before I present it to the rest of the group. Okay, go ahead. You seem to be a fellow of great initiative and could be an asset to me in running this organization. Just where does that speech put me? It puts you right at the top, next to me. Stop, huh? Doesn't that kind of put the squeeze on Raymond? Raymond has his uses. Unfortunately, he also has his limitations. Now, can we get down to business? Sure, go ahead. I have in my possession the photos and the floor plans of the Queen Record Company warehouse on 36th Street. Now, Raymond and I will set up the entry. Yeah, that's right, Captain. 1.30 this morning. 36th Street. Okay. Here he is, Alex. We ready to go? Uh, Mr. Miner, there have been a few changes in our plans. We're not going out on the job this evening. Instead, uh, you, uh, Raymond, and Barney are going to look over the job in case there's anything I missed. Yeah, sure. I want a complete report, of course. Okay. Is this the job you had laid out for tonight? That's right. Thought you had that job pretty well covered. It seems this is the one time I might have overlooked something. That's why you and uh, Raymond and Barney are going over. This is the kind of business that sometimes necessitates quick changes. I hope you don't mind. No, no. It's okay. I'll check back in a while. Fine. Let's go. Is watch the place and see who goes in and who goes out. What's with Alex? He never chickened on a job before. Like the man said, there's a first time for everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's what my girl said when I told her nobody ever walked out on me. You know, she said she was going to take a powder if ever I stood her up again like I did last night. Oh, you got to set her down, man. Don't let her push you. Hey, look, we're going to be done early anyway, aren't we? So why don't I give her a call and tell her I'll meet her later, huh? No phone calls. We're working now. Oh, man, three minutes less. I got it made. You must be really hung up on this chick. That's putting it light. No calls, that's all. What's the matter, Ray? Don't you dig, love? This man's got a vexing problem. What difference is a two-minute phone call? I said no. Yeah, calls. I know, no calls. Okay. Look, how come you're so against me making a phone call anyway? You got something personal. Oh, big deal. It'll only take a minute. There's a phone booth over there. Let's get it over with. Hello, baby. 
Yeah, yeah, this is Frank. Hey, look, I'm sorry for what happened last night, but... Yeah, sure, I'd love you, you know that. I was going to say you like that once I had to. Or... Hey, hey, look, I'm, I'm going to be late for our date tonight, so... Do you want to make it for later? Yeah, later. Come on, let's go. Yeah, hey, okay, look, i got to go. I'll call you later, huh? Okay. Tell Captain Probe that Frank says he can't make the date tonight. It'll have to be later. He'll call back. Frank can't make the date. It'll have to be later, and he'll call back. Unit 27. Unit 27. Unit 27, Prell. Message to Prell. Frank says can't make date. It will be later. We'll call back. Repeat, please. Message to Prell. Frank says can't make date. It will be later. He will call back. Unit 27, message received. Units 13 and 17. Unit 27 calling. Unit 13, cut off. Unit 17, follow me at my speed. Lay on the siren. Give it everything. Let's go. I want speed. And keep going. Some jokers never learn. They think everybody gets speeding tickets but them. Guys like that are a menace. They'll be put away. You know what I mean? Well, what are we going to do now? Just sit here and wait for something to happen? No, we got enough. Let's go. But you heard me. I said let's cut. Okay, okay. All right, what kind of a deal is this? Why, what are you talking about? I thought we were through playing games. Next time you call me to go out on a job, let's make sure it's a job, huh? What are we supposed to be doing, waiting for the cops? I don't know. Why, did any show up? No, man. The only fuzz we saw was a cop chasing a cat who was speeding. You think I'm working with the police? One of the members of my organization didn't think you were wholeheartedly with us. Sometimes I wonder who's running this gang. Mr. Miner. There is absolutely no doubt who is running this organization. Is there, Raymond? No, Alex, no. Who is Raymond? You are, Alex. Oh, great. Now that you got that all settled, if you're all done playing games, I'm taking off. If you get something interesting, give me a call. Frank, I'd like to apologize for taking up so much of your time this evening. However, there is a job for you tomorrow night. I'd like to have you be here for 11. Yeah. Fine. Do you think you've created enough of a problem this evening, Raymond? I'm, s I'm sorry, Alex. A very aggressive young man. Yeah, sure. I like that. Captain Pro, please. Just tell him Frank. <clears throat> Hello, Captain. Yeah, look, I'm sorry things didn't come off tonight, but it, just another trap, I guess. Yeah. Look, I think they're planning another job for tomorrow. I don't know if I can get to a telephone or not. Is there any way I can get you a message? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, maybe somebody in the bar. Yeah, I know Lannon. I don't know if I'll recognize him in his civvies or not. Look, just tell him on the back of a match pack. Right. Okay, Captain.
on this classical jazz. Maybe tonight's job will turn up something you'll appreciate. Hey, man, you mean we're gonna make another record warehouse job? It's possible. Oh, well, that's crazy. Maybe I'll get me some new mulligans. Hey, boy, did you hear the latest? Shh. I guess we're all here now. We'll meet the others out front. Now let's get down to details. Raymond and I will take charge of the entry. Frank, you will take charge of the loading platform. Now, it's the same job we planned for last night, but had to cancel. Are we ready? Can you hold it up a minute? I got to go in the other room. Certainly, Frank. Man. Don't you think so, Raymond? Yeah, sure. <sighs> well, are we all set to go? See you later, Alex. Finish your book.
I told you. Okay, fella, come on then. deal of trouble, Mr. Miner. Or is it, Mr. Miner? Maybe I should call you friend. I'm going to have to go elsewhere and start all over again. I don't like that. What are you worried about? You still got Raymond to do your dirty work for you? Raymond? I'm afraid not. I thought you and Raymond were very close. Close. I can replace him anywhere I go. You'd leave Raymond so the cops could get him? The only person I'm worried about now is Alex Hendricks. Raymond is an animal and has a taste for blood. I have only one job left that fits that need. And that's you. After that, the police can have Raymond. Alex? Leave it. Leave that up. 